What up, Jojo? One, two, three, the beat. South by South, what's going on? And in the studio, in the building, man, Asher Roth. What up, dude? Ow, ow, ow. I, I see you took to our sombrero here. It's Friday, man. We got many different hats, and we were talking off the air here, and you were telling me that you've been in town since Monday. Yeah. And I don't want to say you're ready to get out of here, but it's kind of like when you're on spring break for oh, yeah, more yeah, than yeah. three days, man. You've been Thursday. day drinking. Yeah, Thursday was kind of like you, you, you reached that, like, Wednesday is supposed to be hump day. Yeah. But it kind of lasted over until Thursday. And yesterday really beat me up a little bit. So Friday is just kind of like, okay, all right. But, you know, this is a marathon, man. It's not a sprint. So we're, we're, we're toughing it out. We're going to be yeah. all right. And you're holding up pretty well, man. I'm, yeah. I'm going to say you don't look like... Like you're hungover or tired. Oh, I cheated, tired. man. I showered today. Like, you should have <laughs> seen me. No, but uh, I'm getting it together, man. A lot of Bloody Marys, a lot of white wine, but <laughs> we're, we're putting together the pieces. We're going to be all right. Now, take me through the week, man. How many shows have you done in town so far? You know what, man? I, I came down, and I've been really into the, the social interaction and the digital side of things. So we did that early on, and then we did two showcases yesterday with Puma and Fuse and just saying what's up. But uh, what's been really cool about South by, obviously, the discovery and everything that goes on down yeah. here, you kind of just come down, have a beer, and, and check out some new stuff. But uh, South by has changed over the years. This is my, my third one. And uh, the, the digital side and the, the immediate-to-fan interaction stuff is stuff that I'm really, really into right now. Now and then just figuring out how I can get my music and my lifestyle uh, right to the fans and feel like they're involved and feel like they're almost controlling it. So that's the stuff that I've been interested in and uh, just chatting with, you know, the Spotify's and when I'm listening to yeah. Usher, you make me want to, you know what I mean? I want people to know that. Yeah. So we're having fun, man. And then obviously we have some shows uh, supporting Def Jam and, and all the newness that's going on with me and just and just trying to have some fun. Yeah, I was going to ask you, uh, your show, do you have a show tonight, right? <clears throat> yeah, I, I believe it's at the Belmont. I might be giving false information. Information, but it's out right. the Belmont. <laughs> we got a. Uh, we're going on. If not, they can, if not, they'll find you. For yeah, sure. they'll find it. You know, we'll, we'll probably have a sombrero on or something like that. <laughs> but uh, Belmont probably around ten o'clock, I think. And a couple friends should stop through and say what's up, and then uh, and then off to the races. We'll go see what's going on in the streets. Now it's been a minute, man, since we've. I don't want to say this since we've heard from Asher, but uh, I know you came out with uh, with the uh, with the college party song yeah, a while yeah. back. And uh, what have you been doing from since that single came out to like say up to now? And oh, what man. you got? What you got coming up next? Uh, what can we expect from you? For sure. I mean, it's been a journey, dude. And I, and I think that's been uh, the most amazing thing for me is like we shot right into it. We got right into it, you know. So uh, when I left college, it was it was almost an accident in regards to just uh, we made a record uh, in the basement of Atlanta when I just moved and left school and uh, have a greenhouse effect. And next thing you know, I'm on the cover of XXL. You know what I'm saying? And that's not natural progression. That's straight up. Yeah. How was that, man, when you got that call and you're like, whoa, uh, wait a know, minute. You know, it just kind of happened. And it, it happened all so fast that you're just, you're, you're not even thinking about it. You're just, next thing you're in a room and you're you're with B.O.B. and Kid Cudi and you're on the road and you're floating around. It's just, it's just happening. And it isn't until you take, <clears throat> it's until you call that time out and you take two steps back and you reflect on what's just happened and you go, okay, I got to get my priorities straight. Because when things like that happen... And you get cast into the music of business, and, and uh, the pace is kind of unnatural like that. Uh, there's a lot of other people involved. Um, and, and for me, it was really, really important to take those steps back and build a very solid foundation. Not just people, not just casual music listeners, but devoted fans who understood what I was, what I stood for, and uh, more of a message and, and a lifestyle than just a song. Yeah. Uh, so that's so, what where I, they can relate to as well. Absolutely, and that's kind of what I've been up to. I mean, we released Grind, uh, but you know, people wanted more. You know, uh, they want that fun. Let's just smoke and drink and whatever, <laughs> which is which is great, and that's an element of me, and that's something that's always going to happen probably Thursday through Monday yeah, but on okay. Tuesdays Wednesdays and and there's some other stuff going on whether it be rock the vote or uh you know whether it be you know uh, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of it. It's just like we want people to have fun. We want them to have, you know, a, a great beer or, or a great drink. We want people to, you know, make out in the corner and, you know, grab. Which are uh, Val Santos usually exactly. does down on 6th Street, man. Grab some booty. It's all about the <laughs> booty rubs. But we also have an opportunity in hip hop to really uh, use our influence to be kind of inf inspirational and allow kids to understand that this is a young generation that uh, if we're not careful, this is it. This is really almost our last chance. And I, I think hip hop and, and radio and TV. TV 
is a medium that's going to allow us to tell these kids, hey, let's care. Um, so yes, let's have some fun and let's have it, enjoy ourselves, but at the same time, let's try to do some positive stuff. So we went back and I've been giving away a lot of music. If anyone's been following me on Twitter, you can follow me at Asher Roth, A-S-H-E-R-R-O-T-H. Same with Facebook. We're about to relaunch AsherRothMusic.com. It's going to be very interactive and allow my fans and my listeners to kind of control the experience. But we've been giving away music. We've been supporting Paps and Jazz, obviously, with March Madness and the Final Four that's been going on right now. Speaking of. Yeah, we've been on the road with that uh, in North Carolina, Syracuse, and all these all over the top programs and just supporting and and, uh, supporting live music. So I love it when people come out and and, and support uh, because that's that's really what it's all about. So now we're here with Def Jam and uh, we've got this record, Is This Too Orange, coming out and uh, really, really geeked about it just because it's uh, I know it's new, it's fresh, it's like um, that's kind of what I want to do when I when I when I do something and when I present music, I want it to feel new, I want it to feel fresh, I don't want it to feel like I'm following a trend. I would rather set one, and that's not that's way easier said than done. Uh, but it just it's just a matter of getting in the studio with uh, organized noises on the project. Ornia Well, who did a lot of Sleep in the Bread Isles on there, uh, Knots Raw, a lot of familiar faces, but experimenting with new sounds, trying new things, having some fun, and and at the end of the day, we're just we're just making music. Music. We're not trying to sell anything to anybody. Yeah, and, I got you. And I think listeners are really going to appreciate that. Appreciate that with the new stuff. So I'm, I'm geeked out, man.